You're talking about revolutionizing the way we use computers. The fact that you could kind of share emotion over the internet, something so important to you, you could just trade so freely. That's what was so profoundly different about the explosion of the internet, was that it was one network. So suddenly you could be connected to everyone. I released an early beta version of the Napster software during the summer and it spread quickly by word of mouth. It hasn't stopped growing since. Just, you know, wanted to create a way to meet people through music. Music will be ubiquitous and we believe, you know, you'll be able to get it on your cell phone, you'll be able to get it on whatever the device of the future is. We knew it was a long way off from all the music being available digitally. And then there it was. I just felt like this was one of the great moments in human history. This is a company that is building a business. You know, they've got venture capital money. My response to him, I couldn't type it fast enough, was don't take the money. You don't have a business. They're building a business by facilitating the stealing of artist music. We saw the clicks of the numbers, and that's what they were downloading at that particular time. That was shocking. The music business is a great example of just complacency being a total death sentence. I thought that the way that people got music for the last 50 years worked. The record companies are not adjusting to technology. Major music industries, entire floors were turning their lights off. I'm bootleg proof, you dig that? It's great, isn't it? Metallica was coming to our office. What we're merely doing is giving Napster the information that they thought that we couldn't get them. Napster is stealing from us, straight up, and I'm going to fight them to the death. This last fall semester wore on, hundreds quickly turned to millions, with the program spreading across college campuses like wildfire. Nearly 60 million people used the site to swap music files from each other's computers for free. We literally went from being high school kids leading normal mundane lives to 12 months later bringing one of the largest U.S. industries to its knees and basically fighting what is the largest corporate lawsuit in the history of the world. Lawyers representing Napster and the recording industry squared off before a three-judge panel. What is it capable of being used for? We are not trying to stop the internet, certainly. The final word on Napster will eventually end up coming from the U.S. Supreme Court. Music downloaders, beware. The recording industry is suing computer users. What they've done is to, is to turn an entire generation of kids into electronic Hezbollah. A bomb went off and nobody knew what the hell was happening. It has changed everything. It's obviously so big, it's out of their control. The cat wasn't going back in the bag. Now the people have a choice. There's no stopping it. You know, th this revolution is, is already taking place. 